What is pituitary dwarfism? What are all the symptoms of pituitary dwarfism? Can it be cured? Are there any side effects of the treatment? We're going to find out. Hi, my name is Sophia Heimer. Before I say anything else, I want you to know I have pituitary dwarfism. I was diagnosed when I was only two and a half years old. What is pituitary dwarfism? Pituitary dwarfism is when your body does not make enough human growth hormone. In my case, my pituitary gland, which is located in your brain towards the base of your skull, did not form correctly while I was developing. Some of the symptoms of pituitary dwarfism are height deficiency and not gaining weight, even though you are eating properly. For me, my parents began to worry that something was wrong when I only grew a quarter of an inch and gained five ounces in one year. The only way to find out if you have pituitary dwarfism is to go to a special doctor called an endocrinologist. First, they have to find out a bunch of lab work, which means they have to draw lots and lots of blood. Once the labs come back, they show your human growth hormones are low. You have to have an MRI, which takes pictures of your brain and pituitary gland. After the pictures of the MRI are read by another special doctor, called a radiologist. They will write a report and send it to your endocrinologist. At that point, if your doctor still thinks you may have pituitary dwarfism, they will order a test that takes about six hours. They will draw your blood every 30 minutes to check your levels of human growth hormone while they're administrating medication through an IV in your arm. After all the tests are done and your doctors have all the reports to read, they will then determine if you have pituitary dwarfism. Once you have been diagnosed with pituitary dwarfism, there is no cure. You can only treat with daily injections of synthetic human growth hormone. In my case, I was diagnosed, my doctor told my parents that without the daily injections, the tallest I could possibly be was 4'2". As a full grown adult, and with daily injections, I could hopefully reach 5'2". I have been on three different types of medications. The first medication they put me on was horrible. It burned when my parents injected it, and it began to hide from them under the table. It made me cry, and I was very upset when it was time to do my shot. Since I was only two and a half, my parents could not explain the shots were going to help me. It created a lot of stress on our family because I was so upset. My parents asked my doctors to change the medication. The doctors agreed to change my medication to a device called an Easy Pod. It looked like a juice box. I had no problems with this medication, and I was almost on it for eight years. Then the big bad insurance company came along and said, Hey, I know you like this medication. You've had no problems with it over the past eight years. But guess what? We're not going to pay for that brand anymore. So here's the new medication because it's cheaper than your Easy Pod. For the only side effects that I have with my injections of medication has tricked my thyroid into thinking it shouldn't work properly. So my thyroid levels are low. When your levels are low, it can make you feel tired, moody, and just not yourself. Since my levels are low, I have to take a pill every day to make my thyroid work. My parents and I thought that I would only have to be on this pill while I was doing my injections. But we recently found out that when you start taking the medication, you would have to take it for the rest of your life. I have to see my endocrinologist about every four months and draw blood two to three times a year to make sure my dose is correct for my medications. I also have to do an x-ray taken twice a year with my left hand so you can see my growth plates. Once my growth plates close, no, I will no longer have to take the synthetic human growth hormone but I will always have to take the medication. And that's what pituitary dwarfism is, and how to treat it, and how to live with it. Thank you.